again. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Shame on You. And yeah. uh, Liam Payne and Cheryl Cole, they woke their first child into the world together. That's the top trending story. I don't know who the fuck these people are. Yeah, who is that? I guess Liam is from One Direction, and the girlfriend uh-huh. is Cheryl Cole. So my question to you guys is, since we don't know who these people are, but this is a trending situation, and, and God bless him. Welcome into the world, child. Um, I, don't, I don't even read if it's a girl or a boy. I don't really know. Um, but let's uh, let's pretend let's, 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 let's go with hold this. on. Did you just did you just assume somebody's gender? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that, that's kind of what I was getting at. I was wondering um, what are the odds that it uh, becomes a lesbian or is gay? What do you think? What are the odds? Well, considering that the father is from one direction, I, I guess that's a little more probable. Yeah. Yeah. He'll. Yeah. He and might it, think a cock eventually. I haven't seen. I still don't see the gender. I see this whole story. He says about he the hasn't kid. already. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see the whole story about the kid, and there's still no gender. So I'm going to go with that. The kid is going to become gay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we may. And you know what? I'm going to even. I'm going to. This is going to blow your minds. Mark it down. March 25th, 2017. It is very possible that the child could become gay. Which is nothing wrong with that. But it's also. <laughs> you first. But uh, but no. But the, here's the bigger thing. The bigger story. That I, I believe that possibly uh, in the future, Liam may actually go, may actually touch the kid. I'm just saying, uh, you know, I think <laughs> I think that, I'm not trying to be weird or gross or terrible. I'm just I'm saying that this could happen. Like you know, what I mean, like I probably won't. You know, I'm just saying you heard it here first, March 25th, 2017. Uh, if he goes to jail in like 15 or 20 years, you know, you'll remember. Like, oh shit, you know, we heard it on that show. Yeah. Um, let's get into this other situation um, where you sent me this thing about some girl who believes that I don't know the story really, but that she believes that it's racist or that they're against fat people because the seatbelt wasn't big enough or what? What, what the hell is going on here, Dave? Well, it was something that I did find on Twitter uh, just a little while ago, and I thought it was just comical to tweet it out to you because, as always, you will find individuals in the real world, not just on Twitter or YouTube or whatever, that seem to be so deluded that they think that the whole world is against them. So inanimate objects that have been created for people's safety apparently are now... Uh, contrary to them and are specifically discriminated, uh, discriminating against them. So this particular tweet that came out, and I'm just going to uh, read it out here so everyone uh, can understand, is that this woman basically was caught driving without a seatbelt, and then she basically said, uh, and this is in the UK, which has an abysmal health record, she says, seatbelts are uh, racist to fat people. Oh, okay, this is a direct quote. Now, first of all, I never realized that fat was a race. <laughs> but more importantly, in a system like the UK, and this is what a lot of people don't seem to realize, the UK has a very similar system to Canada in regards to the health system. Socialized uh, health care, the people pay through their taxes for this. So if somebody gets injured, the people pay for somebody's supposed stupidity if they didn't wear a seatbelt when we know that saves lives. So for somebody who's fat to say that this is discriminating against her, even though it's more for the um, benefit of society, but to, as to go so far as to say it's racist, we have, leafed, we have reached a new level of depravity and insanity with people. How could anyone think that a, a seatbelt is racist? Well, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense because there's fat white people too. In fact, there might be more. Well, there might be around the same fat white people. So you know what it is? It's not racist. It's not whatever. It's your no, but f- this lady looks like she's white. And even if she's not white, oh. you know. So, what does that matter to so do with things? See, see, belts don't discriminate. I think you've you've answered the question. The answer is uh, she's fucking stupid. That's the uh, answer. She's fat and stupid. She can't figure out how to stop shoving cake in her fucking mouth. You fucking bungee cord yourself in the front seat if you don't like the seatbelt lady. You know? Yeah. I'll show her something. You know but what? this is where we this is where we stand right now. That a complaint <laughs> is so frivolous as that for someone to say seatbelts are racist. Well, essentially actually gets uh, 
you know, traction that people either either are willing to follow her on Twitter or that um, the courts actually take her seriously. This is insane. Well, this is. this kind of goes back to like that fucking girl a year ago or whatever it was at the um, at the con. It was a cosplay she was doing. She was actually dressed exactly like somebody from something I don't know, and uh, basically she was wearing a swimsuit. And one person complained, and they made her put on clothes. So she had like waited for this event for a year, like a year, worked on the costume and everything, whatever she did, got there, and then she was basically shamed and embarrassed because one person complained. That's it. One person. Oh, I don't like what she's wearing. I'm, not, I'm fat. <laughs> well, actually, I, I really want to add on to this quickly in regards to complaints because there was a gentleman here in Nova Scotia who had a license plate for the last 10 years that was his last name. What's his last name? Grabber. G-R-A-B-H-E-R. <laughs> so it does look see, like grab her. Now, Trump... You know, with his statements uh, of grabber by the pussy, really only came out what in the last year and a half or so. Wrong. Man got one complaint <laughs> about that, and the ministry would not renew his license plate that he had for the last ten years. Why? Wow. Because it apparently indicated violence against women. <laughs> wow. But didn't Everyone you... thinks that Canada is such a great place, magical, with unicorns shitting their rainbows on everyone <laughs> and everyone rolling in cash. Well, guess what, people? We're fucked up. It sounds like we want to. America is trying to be like Canada. I think that's. You know what I mean? Don't. 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 <laughs> well, you know what? But, but you know what? Then I sang the Canadian anthem one time and that you loved it. So. And you did a beautiful job, but the fact is, although that America can definitely deal uh, and could use a system of health care that actually helps people out, yeah. people that work, people that actually give to the system, people that are actually has it. Americans that want to see the system improve, but that aside, although there's, there's, there is definitely a need and an improved need considering what you guys are facing of a better health care system, don't ever think that Canada has it better because we have longer wait times, because there's no competition, there's yeah. ineptitude and corruption within the system, and certain people like fake refugees get priority over actual Canadians. So we, and on top of that, well, it's that happens in the free. U.S. too. Our yeah. taxes. We get taxed so much here in Canada that we have so little left as as you know um, income as, as as disposable income to to use in our lives. Man, I got and news for you. You sounded like you just described the U.S. too, because that's how it is for us too with the taxes and. You know what I mean? But there yeah. are certain states that don't tax as much, but more importantly, our taxation, if you really look at the records, are out of control. And why? Because our government is so inept at actually staying efficient that the only way they can make money is basically continue to add new taxes and regulations that aren't needed. And it kills fucking business development. No business wants to start up in a country, province, or state that has so many taxation laws where you can't even make a profit. Yeah, yeah, it's better to be just at home working independently or something. Or um, work under the table. Or that, and then yeah. people fucking complain about the black market. <laughs> the government's created the black market through their oh, fucking yeah. regulation system. Right. Yep. Well, in Massachusetts, we got the health care figured out. And, and then people complain about illegals. And I've been critical of illegals. But I'm the illegal. fact is I'm not denying the fact that they're working because the system has basically made it out that it's better for greedy businesses to do that rather than to um, – to pay a nominal fee, but you can't blame them either because the system is corrupt and taxes them too much. I mean, it's a lose lose situation all around. Yeah. Hey, uh, on a separate note, how long do you think Donald Trump can last in the bedroom? About two minutes. Do you really? After all these years? Yeah, I'd come quick. Let, let's be honest, though. <laughs> the guy is close to 70, yeah. if not 70 already. And the guy is literally working. From sunrise to sunset, okay. Yeah, he we, is, can't, man. we can't deny that. If that's the way he works, I'm gonna just guess here, but he must be a lion in the bedroom. I'm just gonna guess that because of that <laughs> amount of energy. How can you not? I mean, I'm a lion. Hear me roar. 
And let's say he can't. <laughs> well, guess what? The guy fucking has more than enough money that he can fucking get himself a direct injection of fucking. Oh yeah. You know, uh, any sort definitely. of aphrodisiac right into the blood. Yeah. And he, he's like, I got the pump machine out tonight, honey. Oh, but I mean, God. to be quite honest, the way that he works at his age fucking blows me away. I have, wish I had that fucking uh, as much energy as he does at that age. Fuck yeah. Have you seen that the, uh, dude, I don't know, I'm not sure this came up. This is so horrific, dude. The FBI searches for a teen uh, who was abducted, gang raped, and fed to alligators. What the oh fuck? My That's God, disgusting. Dude. I heard about that Jeez. recently, and it's. So they, they had world her, is fucking barbaric. She tried to get away in 2009, and when she did, that's when she was shot, I guess. Uh, unbel- I, that's horrifically insane. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, imagine you get away after whatever the fuck they were doing to her, and then she, they shoot her. It's like, what the fuck? Dude, that's my worst nightmare. That's like my, oh, my God, the guy that did it looks like fucking. Uh, well, he can't be guilty because, well, never mind. But uh, uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, um. <laughs> but the um you no know, my worst thing is like waking up in someone's like basement like with handcuffs on like with a guy oh, with like a scissors or something like oh my god no please don't ever happen like you're on so all of a sudden your life became oh. so the movie no fuck me you know what i'll i'll be honest i think that we kind of do need individuals like dexter working for the good side because yeah. quite honestly there's certain individuals that need to be taken apart piece by piece and face judgment <laughs> is the best way I can say. <laughs> some wild judgment. I think George Carlin had it right, man. I'm telling you, if we figure out that you fucking killed someone, I say we, well, you know, we put it on fucking pay per view, you know, just like start yep, hacking do it the somebody. same way. Well, we we are probably getting close to the Running Man, and let's be honest, yeah. um, I'd probably pay for that on pay per view. If we're gonna see criminals that have actually committed these crimes, not like yeah. problem you know, is circumstantial. Well, we, like yeah. we got the video of this guy doing this horrendous crime. Well, you know what? I will pay a fucking ninety five dollar pay per view charge to watch this guy get eviscerated live on pay per view. I would do it too. Problem but that's is, the thing. Uh, that's where we're going. That's where we're going in society. Well, problem is, is we'd end up getting like the guy who didn't agree with CNN fucking his head cut off. You know, that's the yeah, problem. Yeah, that, that I don't we, agree we, with. We, we'd go back in time to the witch well, trials. That's why, that's why it's got to be abs- absolutely certain. No circumstantial evidence. But unfortunately, with the the way things are going with reality TV shows and the demand from people. It's only a matter of time before the running man becomes reality. Well, on, on that note, i got to get out of here. But, guys, thank you for listening to Shame on News. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about all this shit? Uh, subscribe to the channel for daily videos like this. Uh, Devious Dave Rose can be found on Twitter at Devious Dave Rose. And Ken is from the Foulmouth Network, uh, at Foulmouth Network on Twitter and YouTube. Go subscribe. Bunch of shit. Tonight, we're going to do monetize this at 11 p.m. And uh, Ken's going to be live at 10 p.m. on his channel. So check it out, and we'll see you in the next video.